Good morning from Malta. If you don't know where Malta is, it's a small little island country south of Sicily, Italy. We are down in the southern Mediterranean, and we've never thought about coming to this country until a couple months ago when we found this really good fare from Ryanair for like 84 bucks for both of us. We're gonna explore everything that's on the southern island. So that includes Valletta, Medina, Barcia's Lock, St. Peter's Pool, which is a really popular summer destination for swimming. And then if you know us at all, we're gonna catch a sunset. And yeah. that's how we're gonna end the day. Thankfully, the island here is really small. It's like 45 minutes from south to north and about 20, 25 minutes from east to west. It's super drivable as far as driving goes. It's a little scary. We're on the left He's side of the road. doing so good. The roads are very narrow unless you're like on a main, main road. So that's terrifying. We're going on a little bit of an adventure today where we're gonna try and see as much of the island as we can. And the first place we're going to is Valletta. Our chariot is here. In case you're curious on what it's like to drive in Malta, this is a bit of an example. If you're not on the main road, it's like a one lane road. And I don't even know if this is a one way or not. And you kind of have to be pretty careful. We made it to Valletta and we found free parking. Everywhere is really free parking and then you tip the person that helps you park your car. This is the city wall and like the old gate. This was a fortified city a long time ago. And this is the entryway in order to get in. As you can see, this used to be a British colony. It kind of stinks in there. Valletta is the capital of Malta. It was founded in like the 1500s. All different influences from all different types of religions, from cultures, they all kind of meshed and melted together into this city. And you can see the influence everywhere. Every sign here for all the restaurants say, warm up here, warm up here with hot chocolate and mulled wine. Everybody's in fur coats and it's like 60 degrees outside. We're currently walking over to St. John's Co-Cathedral. That's like the big cathedral here in the center of the city. Well, we tried. It's currently a holiday. It's the Feast of St. John Shipwreck, which is a local holiday here. So the cathedral's closed to tourists altogether, and they're also having a church service right now. That's what comes with, you know, visiting a new country and learning about a new holiday. We're gonna look around Valletta a little bit more. We might start the day off with some gelato and then probably make our way to Medina. I'm really excited for that. Found our place. Yeah, we did. So we went with lots of caramel. This is dulce con leche. This is the salted caramel. Yes. So. My first time ever trying gelato. I gotta be honest with you, I've always thought that gelato was probably going to be overrated. And the reason being is because it's a really fancy, fun word for Americans to say. But this is really good. Yeah, gelato's really good. Wow. That was just the sweet treat we needed for the morning. And now we're gonna head off to Medina. So as you can see, the old town of Medina is in a large fort, and this is the gate, which is the entrance to the town. I'm not sure if you can hear this, but there's like crazy bells. It's absolute madness. There's like... <laughs> There's like a bell every second. We were just informed by a British couple that just walked past us that uh, they're actually monks that are ringing the bells. So I guess it's justified. This is the Medina Cathedral. It looks like there might be a wedding inside. So everybody's like congregated outside of the church. We were kind of standing here hoping that we'd at least get to see the bride and groom or maybe everybody would clear out so we'd be able to go in because there's supposedly a really famous painting in there. I think it's the beheading of St. John. Thankfully, I was able to snag a little bit of a clip from the inside. 
well, we are 0 for 2 on cathedrals today. But that was really cool to see, and she looks so beautiful. Congratulations to the happy couple, whoever you are. <laughs> we would wait for everybody to clear out to try and get into the cathedral, but we're kind of crunched on time. So we've got to run down to Marcia's Lock from here. Costume change. <laughs> We've made it to Marcia's Lock. This is a little fish town on the southern side of the main island of Malta. And they're really well known for the market here. A lot of fresh fish, a lot of fresh food, and it's definitely a must do when you're in Malta. During the summer months, this place gets packed. Now we're here in February, so there's not a lot of people here. But keep in mind that if you ever do come to Marcia's Lock, or Malta in general, it's extremely touristy from about March to October. The market's not bustling. There's not as many boats as you'll see in some of the pictures, but it's still, I mean, it's still gorgeous. And the weather's perfect too. We feel like we kind of have a lot of this to ourselves. Even if you're just coming for the afternoon or in the morning for a nice walk around the harbor, it's a perfect spot to just take in all of the sights. I guess it is a little smelly though if you're sensitive to it's the a fish fishing smell. Port. It's a fish port, so it's to be expected. There's a lot of different restaurants, like we said before, if you need a coffee or a drink or a bite to eat. We've been walking around for a little bit here in Marcus Lock. I wasn't planning on eating or anything like that, but after talking to one of the guys that works at one of the little restaurants, it's called Harbor Lights. He convinced me that I need some good seafood. So we're gonna go in there. I mean, it's gotta be good. We're right here on the bay. I'm really excited to try it out. <laughs> we also are sitting like right on the bay. That's the perk of visiting in the down season. I'm guessing during high tourist season, it's gonna be really hard to get this kind of experience. Got a couple of local beers. I'm very impatient, but they brought us bread with some butter that has caramelized onions. So good. Hot take, better than garlic butter. That's a piping hot take. We might have overdone it just a bit, but we got baked barracuda. I guess it comes with potatoes. I didn't know it did. And then we got some steamed vegetables and some fried fish, I guess, mm -hmm. with mashy peas and some chips. I wonder what this is. This green stuff. Oh, it is pesto. So this is something I've never had before. Barracuda is really good. I wish I had refined taste buds, but it tastes like fish. How was it? So good. I think the weirdest part for me was not the fact that I like the smushy peas. The fish and chips that we got had the skin underneath the breading, which I had never seen before. It makes sense because it's fresh. He was telling us that he has three fishermen that go out at three or four in the morning, come back, bring him fish so he has food ready by 8 a.m. and then they go out again. Oh, you're good. No, you're good, man. Come on. Jeffrey, who is our server, brought us local liquors on the house. They're prickling pear liquor. And they said that this is the most common flavor throughout the island because they grow on the cactuses, which ripen during the summertime. <laughs> is it strong? <laughs> a little bit. I would compare it to like a very floral watermelon. I know we spoke a lot about the hospitality in Spain and we've got the same thing here in Malta. From bringing the liquor to giving us all kinds of recommendations. Shout out to you, Jeffrey, man. You've made today fantastic. Can't wait to come back and kayak with you in the summer, man. We gotta do that. So we're back in the car and we're gonna try to knock out as many of the suggestions that Jeffrey gave us as possible. They all look so, so beautiful. So if we don't make it all today, we're probably gonna have to come back. So now we're walking to St. Peter's Pool, which is a really popular destination, basically all year round for cliff jumping, swimming, anything like that. And you can take a boat or you can rent a car and you can drive over here or you can take a taxi. It's super easy to get to. It's right down the road from Marcia Schlock. I've always heard that this is a really popular swimming hole, but that is not safe. The water's a little unruly today, but I feel like in the summer, this is the perfect spot because you're kind of blocked from the wind. There's not a ton of breeze flowing through here, so you just get the sun coming down on you, and then you jump in, come out, sun, 
jump in, endless fun. Just yeah. constant. So that's St. Peter's pool. Now we're gonna go to the other side of the island and go and see the Blue Grotto as fast as we can. It's like a 30 minute drive. I don't think we're hurting on time, but we're not really great on time. Here we are at the Blue Grotto, or at least we think so. We parked in the Blue Grotto parking but it looked like there was a viewpoint up this hill. So we are now walking to figure out where exactly we're supposed to go. So unfortunately, I'm not able to fly the drone. The main airport here in Malta is a few miles that way. So they've got every direction blocked off, but it's beautiful. I mean, nonetheless, I would recommend if you're here, take a boat little private boat. There's a little boat service right down the street from here. They'll take you through the Blue Grotto. We're gonna move on to the best sunset spot here in Malta. We've got about 50, 55 minutes until the sun sets. If you are looking for a great sunset spot in Malta, highly suggest this spot. We're gonna put a bunch of links down below to all the places that we went today so you can easily find where we went, but this spot is awesome. It looks like there's a little hiking trail that you could just take like a sunset hike, um, maybe bring a picnic. There's easy access for you to bring your car down here with free parking and you get views like this. I can't say enough about how much we have loved Malta so far. Oh, I'm gonna get run over by a horse. But we have stuff like Ben and Jerry's. I thought there's no way it's better than Ben and Jerry's. Morning, and now we're gonna head off to, what is it called? Medina. Medina. <laughs> so now we're back in the car and we're going to. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a little rocky. Mm -hmm. We're rolling, rolling. Rolling up the hill now. Oh my gosh! We are too in sync. Somebody stop us.